between a healthy economy and a healthy environment. Will rights of nature have unintended consequences? No doubt. But if you're looking for predictable outcomes, I predict that business as usual will be our demise. Inside the bubble of the legislature, the prevailing view is that polluters aren't the bad guys. Polluters are friends and campaign donors. They're part of the tribe. The people who go after polluters, now those are the bad guys. And that's why water defenders are mocked and vilified when we go to Tallahassee and have the audacity to speak up for rights of nature. It's more ethical in Florida to protect the tribe than to protect the waters upon which our very lives depend. Let's acknowledge our common humanity and set aside our tribal differences and get down to the work of actually cleaning up our waters. Ethics. Ethics. Ethics is about choices. And our laws reflect our values. What then does the state of our waters say about us? And what is our message to the future? Mm -hmm. My grandson. <laughs> Here's the kicker. The crap that you see befouling our waters, by and large, it's not illegal. This is, in essence, official state policy. We literally permitted this to happen. The sliming of Florida waters is the predictable, inevitable outcome of weak, unenforced, or non-existent regulation. This is disaster by design. That's it. Your Honor, Your Honor, we submit to the court of public opinion that this photographic compendium of crap constitutes irrefutable evidence of a high crime against nature. We hereby charge the state of Florida with environmental malfeasance in the first degree. Yes. If the spring's full of shit, you cannot acquit the defendant <laughs> is guilty as charged. Not only, not only does Tallahassee refuse to fix the problem, Tallahassee is the, the problem. problem. Yeah. And that's why Florida needs rights of nature. Can I get an amen? Amen! amen. some oxygen in the soul and that's what hope will give us yeah. but when your house is on fire it takes more than hope to save the day right. right this moment demands the kind of hope that reports for duties duty with its sleeves rolled up now I want to speak now to the young people here today you have every reason You have every reason to be so disappointed in my generation. Yeah. Yes. I honor your anger. Yes. And I share your grief. And I admire your passion. And I say to everyone here today, now more than ever, that Florida needs your love. We know that love is more than a feeling that we have today. Love is a commitment to tomorrow. The camera remembers what once was. Mm -hmm. And the camera reminds us what might, with wisdom and perseverance, someday be again.
Now, I'll grant you, there is no guarantee that rights of nature can save Florida. But by God, the bigger question is this. Can the rights of nature save us from ourselves? Yeah. And that's the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A Bill of Rights for the future. Yeah. I'm sorry. A Bill of Rights for the river is a Bill of Rights for the future. It's the right thing to do. And there is, I believe, no finer way to honor the Creator than by protecting creation. Mm -hmm. right. I am so honored to stand shoulder to shoulder with my brothers and sisters in this fight for the soul of Florida. Thank you. Yes.